All right, we are trying to book a, a trip to Houston for the weekend. Um, so the best place I like to book for hotels is to go to Priceline.com. That is where I usually find some really great deals. So just type it in, click the link on Google. When you look on it, you'll see the hotels, flights, hotel and flight, um, just different tags and options of what you want. But we're looking for the hotel, and we're going to look for... Houston, Texas, um, just for the weekend. It's going to be December the 28th to December the 30th, just for the weekend, Friday to Sunday. So one room, then click search. This, whenever you search for it, the first thing you'll see is just pretty much browse all, and that's when you see it's about to pop up after it finishes loading. But it just shows you the name of the hotel and the prices. That's the way a lot of people search for it. But there was the express deals, which is 60% off. So you click the express deals. And this situation, you only pick the stars, but you don't know where you're going to be staying. So for four star, you get 46%. $46. But best thing to do is always click the map so you know which area. It may not tell you where exactly, but it does tell you an area. For the $46, it's saying Houston George Bush International Airport. So if you're trying to be in Houston by the airport, just make sure you look at the map and you know that's the right area. But a lot of time, if you know if that's the right area you want to be in. Just keep scrolling just to see which price looks the best and which stars as well. These are options for show neighborhood. For if you have anything particular you do want to stay in, a particular place you want to stay in. Um, but a lot of times when we do it, we like we just follow the price. We're not really picky on the area. A lot of times we try to be by downtown, but if not, we just want to be somewhere by the area. So if you go to view map, Instead of you seeing it as a list like this, you can actually look at the map. And if you want to be by, let's say, downtown Houston, you go click at that, pri that part of the map and see if those prices are good. If they're still a little too high, click the neighboring uh, part of the map and see if the prices are good. Like four star, four, um, four stars, $62 in the Houston Galleria area. Just based on your budget, that's the one you preferably click. But the 3.5 star hotel, and for $45, that seems like a really, really good price for the weekend. Almost the price of food, in some, depending on where you go to eat, is the price for at night. So that's not a bad deal. The good thing here, it kind of shows you the little pins on where the hotel maybe and it gives you a list of other known brands so you could be in a hotel like crown plaza hilton marriott and so forth so at least you have a rough idea so you're not fully blind on where you're going to be but at the same time you don't know exactly where you'll be just at least somewhere within that map so after you look at that and you see your comfortability level um you can decide if this hotel is for you or not. But other than that, or you can keep exploring. Oh, and you can go down and you could see about the amenities. So I say it's best to look around some. So let's say I wanted a four star then for $62, still not a bad price. So that one, it shows you you could get hotels like the Hilton, Hyatt, or Westin, which based on your preference on hotels, you can see if this one works out better for you or not. The hotel amenities, if it's a requirement you want a fitness center or a business center or pool or anything like that, you can kind of have a rough idea so you're not 100% blind on what it is you're trying to get. But for us, the four, we're trying to save money and we're not trying to spend too much. So the four-star hotel for $62 is a pass for us. 
we are going to go with the 3.5 star hotel. I will say a lot of times it could be a hit or a miss, but a lot of times we've had more hit. And when I say hit or a miss, it's more of, let's say, it had a little bit, of, it smelled like smoke a little bit. So that's more of a hit or a miss. Or if it just look, the hotel looks just a tidbit older, like it needs to be renovated, that can be like a miss. But other than that, it's really not a, like a ginormous miss. So that's not bad. So we book it, we're going to book the 3.5 star. The, pri- the total price is 115 which is a good deal. I personally think so. So after you, you've booked and put all your information... Then you book, not knowing which hotel yet, but you book it. Right after you finish paying, that's when it tells you which hotel you got. So we ended up getting the Clown Plaza Hotel in the Houston River Oaks. And whenever you looking at all the information, just kind of verify everything, what you're looking at, the dates is all good. I mean, you should definitely do that beforehand, but always double check. You get to see how much you saved, $32. Well, not $32, I'm sorry. You ended up saving 32%. And always check out the map, I mean, the destination, just to confirm. And it's not only just to confirm the area, it's more of you to be able to see how the hotel really looks like. So you kind of have a rough idea on what to expect when you arrive, so you're not just blindsided 100%. (laughs) considering you paid for it and you didn't know what you were paying for fully. But it looks pretty nice. Crown Plaza, pretty tall. I like to call hotels ahead of time and ask for a higher room. But you get to see the room, the pool, and what they have to offer. If you, after you see that, then just keep looking. Everything is, is pretty much good. 